Hurricane walking. I think it's awesome. I've been a long time Hurricanes fan and this is something that's been needed for a very long time. I love it. I think it's a great addition this year for us. I just think it's something that we should have here. I've seen it on the video. We didn't come here last time, a little late, and I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to see the players up and close. It's a U. We came to the Hurricane Walk because how they wanted to, honestly. My wife and I are both graduates of UM, so we kind of raised them and he's become a huge fan of the Canes. It's just nice. It's nice for the fans. It's nice for the fans who have children to bring their, their kids uh, that close to the players as they come in. It's obviously nice for our players. Mike James, Mike James, Mike James, Mike James. You know, usually they're in the stands, we're on the field, so there's that big distance, but you know, of course the Cane Walk, we're literally inches away from each other. He actually gets to see the players without their pads on and, you know, gets to see how big they actually are in real person. The week, you know, give them fives and they can see us and you know, tell us a couple things before the games and cheer us on. So. It definitely, it definitely gives them a chance to be a lot closer to us. I think the Hurricane Walk is a great thing, like seeing all the players, the people are a lot closer to them, so they should feel like everybody loves them. And they always have good things to say, and the encouragement always makes you feel better, so I think they give us a little more juice. Yeah, you got this, baby, I know you. It's your house. It's kind of something to get us going before we even get in the locker room, so it's definitely good. It helps us a lot on game day. I like how they're trying to build a tradition and build you know, the kind of events that you can come you know, be a part of. Uh, you know, we've been coming to games since I was little, so it's nice to be able to, you know, become kind of more personal with the players and see them come in and be up and close with them. So it's a nice touch to have, trying to build that tradition around the UM program. I think it's something that celebrates our football program, that celebrates, you know, the university and certainly distinguishes game day from every other day, and, and uh, that's really the mindset behind it. It brings the fans a lot closer to the players, and I think it just it makes for a better experience. Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day. This week, the University of Miami takes on the Hokies of Virginia Tech. And one of the big matchups will be the running backs, Lamar Miller for the University of Miami and David Wilson for Virginia Tech, both averaging over 110 yards a game on the ground. Our show continues now with Don Bailey Jr. and his one-on-one. -on -one. So Jamo's got him around the face mask. Oh. Can't get him, and now he's brought down at the five. In a loss of six, and Marcus Robinson helped out after Ojimo. We're joined with Marcus Robinson, and congratulations on a great performance last week against Bethune. And what's it feel like getting those sacks? Well, it feel good against sacks. You know, that's that's one thing you want to do as a defensive lineman, harass the quarterback. Coach D'Onofrio, I know, is, is big on that. And also, you have your defensive line coach who, who pushes you to get those sacks. But when you get the quarterback in your eyes and you know that he's yours, is there any better feeling in football? I ain't no better feeling now. All you want to do is just finish on him. Make sure he can um, think about it next time, get up again and, and face him up again. He already ready to go down. And, and, that's a big, and that's a big topic if you're a defense alignment is you want to get into the quarterback's head. You want him thinking about defensive line pressure. Right. I don't want him to set his feet too much um, to throw the ball away. So every time we get off the ball, I want to be thinking, oh, where this kid at? In the defense you guys are running now, some, you know, a lot of the times the defensive ends are, are in a stance, but sometimes they're standing up every now and then too. How do you, how do you think everybody likes that transition? Oh, I think we all like it well because, as you know, we all speed guys and we like to drop, we like to blitz in front of two-point stands, you know, so everybody enjoying it. Have you adjusted to Coach D'Onofrio's defense? Do you, now that we're going into week five, do you feel comfortable or getting more comfortable in what he's asking everybody to do? Oh, yeah, I love it, basically. I haven't been, have a bigger role in this ever since I've been here, but I love this defense. What's the number one thing that you've learned under Coach D'Onofrio about playing football? Oh, trusting the um, training and being in the right spot and reading my keys the right way. Don Bailey Jr., thank you very much. And we appreciate you watching our show here today. And join us next week on CSS as we go behind the scenes with the University of Miami. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week right here on Hurricane Game Day.